Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today we have visited this uh, town, Goho, which found is a Muslim community, and we can see some cattle grazing in uh, in their courtyard. This is a place uh, where I think Nigerians need to understand that we need to live together, because I've seen nothing here that can warrant people to agitate that they should be separated from our beloved country, Nigeria. Uh, Professor Osman Yusuf, I don't know whether you have anything to say. Yeah, this is uh, Igoho, made famous by a detainee in uh, Benin Republic. Nigeria is one and will always remain one. We're just from the hinterland where we've seen example of how people should live, right? And this is where we're here. Nigeria is our country and we are working to see how we can all come together, all faith. You see, the, the town we went to, Elisha, uh, Burata, is it Burata? You see, you see churches, you see mosques, you see Fulanis, you see the natives, you see Yorubas, all coming together. This is the Nigeria we grew up in. Not the poison Nigeria, this Igboho, yeah. Igboho people, and people say Nigeria is divided. It is the elites that are dividing Nigeria, not the common people. The common people are all the same. So, we are here as Nigerians, and we'll continue to be one, inshallah. Thank you very much. So, guys, you can see the manner at which these men were speaking. You could see deceit in them. They were, they were just deceiving themselves. One thing is that whatever that is laid on lies, whatever that is laid on force will never last. Let them continue. Let them continue with all this, uh, this uh, deceit. They, to me, they are just deceiving themselves. You went to Ibo to go and do what? To, to go and see, see how people were still grazing. But they don't talk about those who are killing. The same Gumi and the same man, Yusuf. Who were raising their voices when Akiri Dulu and Igbo? Of course, you know you should know where they stand stand for or what they stand for. See what is happening in the north. They are, they are, they left all of those places. They are coming to Igbo town to come and do what the other one was saying. Oh, uh, the detainee is being detained. Is that is that you think he is being detained is on truthfulness or on on justice and fairness? No, no, they are just deceiving themselves. As we speak today, who are the people bearing the bonds the, uh, the more? Now, all of you in your northern area, you want Nigeria, want Nigeria, but see what is happening to them. See what is happening to them. You just begin to wonder that our so-called own southern politicians, they behave as if uh, it's like they, are, they have taken something away from their brain. You can imagine. You came and you see bragging that Cattle as it was still grazing on people's land. So people who were complaining about all this Nieti Allah or the Fulani S men coming into their farm and destroying things, having canon knowledge of women, married women and young ones and all of that. No, they won't talk about it. And they are sitting there, there or standing that uh, there. Gumi has now become a reporter was asking them, the one, the one that they call Professor Yusuf, that what do you have to say? Now now say, you can see the detainee, uh, this is the town. Who, as we speak now, who know all of you? What do they, what are you known for? You are known for what the world know, knows you for. Is it good or bad? Is it in the positive line or negative line? Then Igbo, Sunday Igbo that you said is being detained. Is it fighting based on deceit or based on fairness or justice you know the answer is there for everyone to answer the question is for, is there for everyone to answer <laughs> one that should never end she gumi and the yusuf they were there paying court services to mudekeke igbo a muslim community in ibadan state uh -huh, mudekeke in ibadan which ibadan well in that short video cited on his facebook page the prominent scholar and advocate of a united nigeria reinstated the need for Nigerians to ignore tribal sentiments and live together as a people. That is the problem we are having with these people. Living with who is going to be living peacefully and say, No, I don't I don't like that peace. So with what is happening to the people, people just keep quiet and just say, okay, 
I don't understand. With the way things are going, all of course God knows, God knows, He knows, He knows all. He knows the end even from the beginning. He knows what people are complaining about. He knows what people are fighting for. Just like I said from the beginning, unless if whatever that is being done is being done on fairness and justice. If not, forget it. Forget how long it's going to take. Forget how long the whole thing is going to be dragged. A day will come. The evil ones will be separated from the good ones. Those who know how to do good, continue to do good. If you know how to speak the truth, continue to speak the truth. Don't let all these people deceive you. Don't let all these people intimidate you. You can you can know you should know what they stand for. The same gummy that is going from pillar to post, saying that uh, oh, the manner at which uh, the army, the soldiers are going after these bandits. Oh, it's not so. And he was he encouraging them. You cannot eat your cake and have it. You have claim claiming one Nigeria, preaching one Nigeria, and you are see supporting those evil people are they the ones who are most affected in this country that you are not telling us that uh, oh it's because of a uh, uh, the way they are they don't go to school who told them not to go to school everybody was playing one kind of tricks yesterday saying that uh, oh jam should stop awarding marks to northerners you say you want to encourage them encourage them how and at the end of the day see what the the region has turned to and it's affecting everybody it's affecting everybody very very unfortunate situation we've really found ourselves honestly speaking live together in order to make the southern resources and using the resources of southerners black gold to develop your deserts gumi cannot be advocating for one nigeria and at the same time at the same time be negotiating she be negotiator between boko haram and federal government let us separate then keep your killers to your country the only thing that will stop has Bandit and Boko Haram is dissolution of the entity called Nigeria. And any time country is dissolved, you will not hear the terrorist attacks because there will be no money from the South for them. Negotiating for peace is not bad, but telling the armed forces to treat them with kid gloves is what I cannot fathom. This man has come to spy his bandits. You guys should watch out and be careful. With the way you relate with him, willing to use among you the fullness we use them to infiltrate and take over your land the way they did in the north and Quara states. You are right. Thoughtful as well. You are highly sensitive. We want separation from the fullness. They are beasts and should not coexist with humans. All this, your policies won't work. Parasites. Oh, yes, their policies won't work. Yes, this man, no suppose, go back. The way he came, that is, a, is their own cup of tea. Like someone says, the willing tools among the Yorubas, among the other indigenous people of Nigeria, the willing tools among them will be the ones that they will use to infiltrate. You came to see your Muslim community, you can imagine all the way from this thing to come and do what. Leave them, all of them, they will drown in their plants. They are in their evil plants, they will drown in it. They will drown in it. Where did he, okay? It's on say where did they see Ibadan? Where they can't they can't make their communities better up north, and they are looking for where to destroy. Open grazing is evil. It aims banditry, kidnapping, destruction of farm crops, and their criminal activities. Gumi hmm, Jolua is coming. The day of the Lord is coming. It's really really coming. And what is the hidden and undeclared purpose of this suspicious visit? If I may ask. My thoughts, why did they go there? They should go back to Fulani Arena, teach them how to behave. We should not sell ourselves to our enemy in the name of religion. These are dangerous visitors. They have wicked motives behind their thoughts. They are thought, and that is it. If you fall for it, that is it. Say they came to their Muslim, they came to Muslim community. <laughs> so guys, leave your comment down there below and let's have your take. Thank you.